much as I can. Is there anybody that you're looking forward to coming up against, either in the qualifications or in just the general tournament for the My Team Unlimited tournament? I have to give my look back on Ty Debo. It's the offense versus defense rivalry. Everybody wants to see it on both consoles. I think the finals matchup was very entertaining last year and went to three. And like, it's just the only thing to do. Like, I get revenge. I get to prove that I really. Terrific view of the nighttime traffic between Manhattan and our setting tonight, Brooklyn, New York. And a happy. Th hey, Allie. Jason Tatum already an all star, but he won't rest until he's a superstar. He said, quote, nobody puts higher expectations on me than myself. When I have big games, I try not to get too excited because the guys I look up to, they do it often. I want to get to the point where when I do it, it's kind of like another night. Brian? All right, Allie, thanks. And Grant, no shortage of athleticism on display tonight. Something you'd know a little bit about. Well, you know, B.A., in my younger days, I might have caught a few guys, but maybe we'll see a few highlights tonight, too. And let's take a look at Boston's starting lineup. At the two and the three, Brown and Tatum. Al Horford out there with Robert Williams. And it's Jay in at the one. And for Brooklyn, the star-studded backcourt of Irving and Harden. Paul Millsap is out there with Joe Harris. And it's Cantor in at the five, down low. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Here's Jay. Takes it inside. Pass to Williams. Count it. One for one to start the game. Outside Harden. Canter with it. Harden into the lane. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Here's Jay. Turned in an outstanding game against Detroit. Pass to Horford. Inside. Here's Jay. Defended by Harden. Five to shoot. Back to Williams. Count the basket. Williams has got his second bucket of the night. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. He had very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now here's Harden. We saw him with 39 points last game. Harris outside. Pass to Irving. is off. Nice D from Tatum. Here are the Celtics with the ball. I'll tell you, man, Irving can do many things for your ball club. But at the top of the list, he's a tremendous shooter with great range and great confidence. The Celtics have gone two of three to get this one going. Here's Jay from deep three-point range. Brown in the high post. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. You know, if you were to hand select a player to take the last shot for you, no one would bat an eye if you chose Kyrie Irving. Ever since his shot over Steph Curry in 2016, Irving's been a legend. And some of it's his mental approach. People say he marches to the beat of a different drum. That may help him in those big moments. Got the line. Two times. That one misses. And here's Boston. Three-point lead. They traveled to Brooklyn last time they faced the Nets. Came away with a win. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. And, and, and a lot of it is moving without the ball. When you do that, things tend to open up. Now here's Irving. Coming off a terrific game against New York. With the drive. The shot's good. The body control early on. Spinning off the defense and, and style and steel scoring. I love his aggressiveness. Here's Jay. Uses the glass on the layup. He's got five. A big decision for MP coming up this summer. Grant, he'll be fielding offers from around the league as he hits free agency. And you know, it's strange that MP is already a free agent. A strange quirk in his contract. But he's set to capitalize on it, and he'll be a hot commodity indeed. And the Nets with possession here. After the basket by Boston. 
Here's Harden. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. And you look at Harden's endurance, able to give 100% night in and night out. And he plays as many minutes as you need. Harden hits them both. You know, Grant, watching Harden, he always seems to be in attack mode. And he's consistent about it, too, B.A. A lot of guys are aggressive in spurts. Harden is looking to make a play every moment he's on the floor. Now here's Brown. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Outside Irving. To the inside, Canner. And Canner with the slam. That's a clever pass right there by Irving. <laughs> he got the ball to the guy with the better look. Smart. Here's Jay. He's got five. Pass to Tatum. Here's Jay. He's guarded by Millsap. Here's Jay. Kept alive. Big time effort on the glass. And when you have a touch that soft, those tip-ins are easier to make. Canner with it. Back to Irving. Now Millsap. Over Horford. Millsap can't get it to go. From behind the arc. And Millsap pulls it down. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Pass to Canner. Horford with a steal. Here's Jay. And that'll be Boston's ball as it goes out of bounds. Celtics able to keep possession here. A great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the ball. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Boston. They're setting the tone early with their defense, keeping the pressure on and taking chances. And they've got a bunch of steals to show for it. And another area where they've been on point is defending the rim. A lot of blocks through the first two quarters. And Grant, you played almost two decades in the league. What do you think some of the biggest highlights in your career were? Really just, you know, playing on some great teams with great players, uh, the relationships, the experiences. I didn't win an NBA championship, uh, but I am more than blessed with having an incredible 19-year career. On the floor for Boston, Richardson and Brown, the two and the three. Robert Williams out there with Jabari Parker. And it's Jay in at the one. Well, Jay in the last matchup against the Pistons had a huge game. He ended up with 34 points and was on point from deep. He had his handprint all over that game. Put up some big numbers. Guys, back to you. Okay, Allie, thanks. Well, that was an incredible night for him. They rode him to that win. And he was more than happy to carry them, B.A. He might still be feeding off that performance heading into this one. Yeah, right. Now, I'm, I'm sure he wants to come out in attack mode. The other key for him is to continue to get to his spots on the floor. The shot comes out. Good D by Canner. Brooklyn has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Down low, Claxton. Some solid defense from Williams. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Jay. He's got five. Beyond the arc. Connects from downtown. Three. Give him eight. They're shooting nearly 50% from beyond the arc, and their confidence is growing. Knocked loose. From the arc. And it's Cantor with a rebound. The defense has done a good job of forcing him into tough shots this quarter. Pass to Claxton. Harris on the wing. Shoots over Parker. Harris misses. Boston has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Here's Jay. From downtown, he hits it. His fourth make in 10 tries. He'll do some damage if they give him that shot. Don't give him a clean look. Get out there on him. 
outside, Brown. Harden against Parker. Boston foul. Millsap, he's checked in for Claxton. And the Celtics also making a change. Neesmith, he's checked in for Richardson. Off the inbound pass. And Cantor with the slam. I mean, it's encouraging to see Cantor finish on the drive. The D has to offer more resistance. Here's Jay, defended by Harden. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy baskets like this. Here's Cantor. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. A true inside-outside player. We know Cantor can hit a three, but, but he's at his best closer in. Here's Jay. He takes it in. It's good. He's got 15. Oh, that's not the kind of interior defense you want. Way too slow to protect the run. Harden into the lane. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. You tell me, how, how do you defend that? Hard to strength and command of the Rockets. It's, it's almost unfair. Here's Jay, defended by Harden. Let's go with a three. And it's Jay missing. Brooklyn trailing. 127 left to play in the first half of basketball. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Robert Williams picks up line. one. James Harden stepping the line with two shots. That's good from Harden. Yeah, Harden's keep. So it's Boston going into the break up to... on the scoreboard the second half begins with very different goals for these teams one side trying to mount a comeback one side trying to protect their lead Irving runs point with Harden to his side Joe Harris out there with Paul Millsap and it's Cantor in at the five and that's the group for Steve Nash as we begin the second half Austin shooting 56 percent today and stolen by Irving Harris up top. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And Irving, the bucket on the assist by Harris. It's a dead eye shooter. If Kyrie any daylight to fire, she'll take it. Here's Jay. He's guarded by Irving. And if Jay missing. Man, when the ball's in his hands, that's as high percentage as he gets. It's just a fluke miss. All right, let's get a report from Allie. B.A., the Boston Celtics last year had the team's worst win percentage in the last six seasons. The front office admitted, as constituted, they were not a championship-caliber team. Now, for this proud franchise, accustomed to competing deep into the playoffs, the question becomes, how do they get back on top? Yeah, that's a big one. Good stuff there, Allie. Thanks. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. And the defensive shortcomings of Ennis Cantor have been chronicled. But, Chris, he's a beast in the paint. It's terrific hands. His, his rebounding and interior scoring are what make him an NBA player. Well, known for his unique personality, Cantor also remains a solid role player. Someone his teammates enjoy playing with. From deep. And he drains it, making him 7 for 15 for the day. You can tell his hustle inspires the entire squad. He really gets everyone so amped up. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Team second. 